Morning YouTubers, fellow motorcyclists and crazy people. Well, we're off to do a bit of camping. Whitby, here we come. Well, this is the start of our journey, my wife in front, on her uh, trusty Triumph 3 triple. Buds is tolerating it at the minute, he'll probably, uh, oh here we go, now he's telling me, why aren't we in front? The first time we went out riding together, um, I'd been out with Buddy a few times and he was fine, he loved it and then first time I went out with the wife he started doing this and I thought do you know what maybe he just doesn't uh, maybe he just doesn't like it anymore I was wrong and he doesn't want to come and anyway this went on for about 20, 20 minutes, half an hour and in the end I ever took the wife and as soon as I overtook her, happy as Larry. He doesn't like her in front at all. Here, buds, what's up with you? Oh, really? So I've got to overtake her, have I? So I've followed my wife for years. I've always liked being at the back, keep an eye on her. But uh, since he started coming, she's had to follow me. I said to her this morning, you set off, I just want to make sure all your bags are in place and okay. I've never fitted these panniers to this bike, you only got them the other day. A bit of a dry bag on the back and she's sorted. And then I've got everything else per normal. Well, she's got better over the years, bless her, with her packing. Fancy. Well, well, yeah, we'll get in front in a minute. Stop being impatient, young man. Well, that's cracking weather today. I think we've got this all weekend. So, we're on our way up to Whitby. We've never been Whitby. That's it, come on, let's go and do a weekend camp to buy a new tent. We went uh, Wales the other week and uh, put my daughter in our motorcycling tent and we put up our family tent if you like. And uh, the very next day after the first night come back both tents were flat, the wind had just demolished both of them. So I ended up buying a new air tent for that holiday. Oh no, I'll overtake her, shall I? I'll overtake her. Okay, okay. And uh, obviously I had to um, buy a new... Uh, he says you go to the back. I had to buy a new motorcycle tent. So uh, that arrived uh, day four yesterday. I haven't tried uh, this tent yet. I'll give a quick review on it when we get there. See how easy it is to put up. He's happy now, look. Now he's in front, leader of the pack and all that. He happy now? Okay. Well, 
up it's absolutely sweltering roads are lovely a few bikes out today and saturday we've just had a quick coffee break give the little man a walk and a drink it's absolutely sweltering go on itch buds behind me I'm riding along and I'm thinking I've got to have forgot something there's something I forgot I know there is and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and then it just dawned on me I've got to pack a bloody towel pack it and your bikes out today they love this road call this the mountain TT from Market Arbour all the way up to Mountain Mowbray a few hours to go to uh, get where we're going so we managed to find a campsite on a farm I'm hoping not to be too near too many people there's an old abbey there it's quite interesting you can see the sea that will do me and we'll crack on do a few more miles and then we'll check back in Definitely some cracking roads. Seen quite a few bikes out today. All going the other way. We managed to uh, come round Boston, not have to go through it, which is a godsend. It's always a nightmare going through Boston. We're heading up to uh, Lau at the minute, and then uh, from there Hull side of Hull and then the coastal road all the way to uh, Whitby and we should be there for about tea time we've had a couple of breaks give the little man a break a walk a pee had a poo oh still behind me bless that So the few speed camera vans out today. Police officer pull three bikers over, giving them a ticket. Rather them than me. Probably look for somewhere to get a spot of lunch. <laughs> Haven't eaten yet. Another hour, the wife will be needing more coffee. The coffee addict of the family. Bless her. So I'm hoping this new tent is as quick as it says it is. It's quite buddy. I reckon about 15 minutes. I hope it's as quick as the air one. That was nice and quick, that was. And that was 15 minutes, but it was up, pegged out, and ready to move in.
munch some more balls and we'll check back in. Well, we're still bouncing around some cracking little roads. This is what I love about avoiding all motorways and major routes. Just bimble your way through and find roads you've never been on. That's what makes it an adventure. It's certainly been an adventure in the last 20 miles. Plenty of tractors out today as well. Got some beautiful properties out this way. I have no clue where I am, which is a good thing. I quite like it when I don't know where I am. Just, just follow the road, see where it goes. I just placed a pin on the uh, on the coastal road, about ten miles from Whitby, and. Uh, just avoided all motorways and major roads and uh, this is the way it's brought us Bimbling through the countryside Well, the wife's getting hungry now, she'll be chuntering in her head. Find me food, find me coffee. Looking forward to this all week. Had a good week in Wales in the van with uh, the daughter, the wife, and three chihuahuas. Always love a bit of camping, but uh, much prefer it on the bike. The daughter was like, Why can't I come? I'm like, Because I can't fit you on the bike anywhere. So just me, the wife, and of course the Budsy. I says it was our wedding anniversary uh, on Monday, just gone. So I says, oh, we'll go, uh, we'll go camping at the weekend. We'll go Whitby. We'll, we'll go for our wedding anniversary. Cause she's always wanted to go to Whitby. We've uh, never got there yet, and uh, well, we're having it on. And uh, she went, oh great, just the two of us. I went, well, two of us and the dog. Can't leave you at home, can we, buds? I've got all the shit in the road, but nice. Oh, let's see if we can find some food. Here's one of my pet eights, look. Gravelions. Oh, what a cheap, nasty way to resurface the road. It's just shit. Clang clang clong up.
of a Humber Bridge now. Diverted this way, just take my wife over it. She hates heights. Always good to help conquer the fears. Ah, it's a bridge she's never done before. I've only ever done it in a lorry years ago now. Windy up here, I know that much. Look, bless her. What is like? What are you doing? <laughs> Get to the back, he says. <laughs> that right, buds? Crow then, buddy. Yeah, motorcycles go free. It's always nice, isn't it? Saying this one could be straight on me, lovely. Well, that was the Umber Bridge. Uh, we've still got some amazing roads. We're about 40, 44 miles away from Whitby at the moment. Not far now. We stopped and had a nice lunch. I had a burger, mind you. Buddy had most of my burger. Bless him. That was if we there, yeah, or what? The last break, he just sunbathed and decided he was going to have a sleep. Been a good day, really. No idiots. Touch wood. I have one uh, chap on a street trip all compass just to shut my eyes. I don't know where he thought he was going. We should have had the camera on, that would have been epic. He made it by the skin of his teeth. The old wind's 
still blowing. It's about uh, 20 past four in the afternoon now. It's been a nice uh, leisurely day. We didn't leave too early, we didn't get up too early. It's all been roads pretty much like this. Did one little bit of dual carriageway up to the Humber Bridge. That's about it. And it's just nice to be get the tent set up. Chairs out, jet boil on, cup of tea. I think we're gonna have a walk down into Whitby later. Fish and chips for tea. moments where I'm going I'm sure I forgot something I'm sure I forgot something apart from me towel I'll find out when we get there I suppose and before you say it no it's not the tent the tent is there look it's been a lovely warm day but uh, it's still bloody windy Six one four, I think we're, uh, we're going on now. But it's like, what are we slowing down for? We here? It's like having the kids. Look, we here? Yeah. Very friendly this side of the country. I don't think I've had one bike and not nod, even a few BMW riders have been given the nod today. Makes a refreshing change. Because you always get the nod off a triumph phone so we're all so uh, friendly. get through all this 40 nonsense and then we'll check back in oh, that didn't take long back out into the twisty stuff thank you keep doing that keep tapping the old roll sorry buds It's still always strange this Covid, everything's such hard work, stopping for fuel, even something to eat, it's just constantly sanitising, wipes to wash things, but I suppose that's just how things are going to be, until they either get a vaccine or it's gone, whenever that may be, but until then, it is what it is. I must admit, I did enjoy working through lockdown. Had the roads to myself. Best place to have lunch on lockdown was McDonald's because they were all shut. So I just pulled up in the car park, had a bin, so I'd have a piss. Now they're all full of people again. I 
gives you someone to overtake though, doesn't it? It's quite eerie through lockdown in some places. South Wales was my favourite place to go. I got kicked out of North Wales. Got an arsehole of a copper. Didn't have a leg to stand on, but he kept me there for nearly 45 minutes threatening this and threatening that. Gold, are you gold? Put your hat on for you. There we are, look. Put the coat on. Jump back on. Don't you got his hat on, look. You happy now? You happy now? Let's adjust you. That's it. Is that better? You feel the dwarf now? Look at your lovely face. Wow, it's definitely gone chilly. Grey sky, it's still dry though. Still good roads. Bit of bonus. Well, I hope this tent goes up as quick as it says it does. Uh, a little bit brighter that way. I'm about 17 miles from Whitby now. But he's happy he's got his hat on. I'm happy I got my jumper on. And she's really happy she's got her liner in her jacket. Stop somewhere and get some milk for me cup of tea. Told you I'd remember something that I'd forgot. And that being milk and me towel. Had a good ride today. A nice steady day, which is always good. About 240 miles, I think, approximately. Front door to Whitby. So we've done no motorways, which is always a bonus. Soon we're at the campsite. See how this tent goes up. And yeah, I did think to myself, I probably should have had a go at putting this tent up before we set off on a trip, but it arrived yesterday. And it was just a case of pack it up. I had so much to do yesterday, I didn't get a chance. So, the first attempt will be today. Just open, it's as idiot proof as it says on the packet. Time will tell.
my wife did have a Moto Guzzi up her ass till we at the Nationals and I can only see her now so she must have shook him off this will be the longest ride she's had since she got knocked off February. So a nice woman rear ended her at the island. Luckily for her, she wears an air vest and saved her back and her neck. She got whiplash, but uh, could have been a lot worse on the landing. She went six foot in the air. jacket so I was sweating my twat off took my jumper off and when we stopped to put his hat on I just put my jumper on I wish to put my liner back in there fuck me it's cold well we're 4.7 mile away now 